Um, hey. There's a lot going on, and, um... I don't know how many people really have it all together. You know, I watch YouTube, and I see... I see people that, um, that are all about grace. And grace is awesome. That's what it's all about. It's the gift of grace from Christ. From God, you know. But then there's ones that are, like, you're too grace, you know. And I really feel like if the both of them were to get together... You know, and actually have an adult conversation that they could meet in the middle and actually both learn something from each other. Because people that actually talk about grace, about salvation through grace, plus nothing. They're not talking about, you know, sinning. They're not they're not saying, you know, you can just sin, but at the same time there are some things in it that uh, the Holy Spirit will tell you. It will guide you in ways that I don't I don't think any human being really can explain like what what the Holy Spirit will do with you. You know, like for me, it's different the way the way the Holy Spirit speaks to me is, I mean, so many different ways. I mean, when I was little, I used to get so mad. You know, I, I go to church. I grew up in a church. My grandfather was a preacher, right? Um... I don't know if this was like an illusion, a dream, or what, but as a child, like, I'm saying like five or six, I feel like I literally recall running down out of church, down the, the hallway, and I was sitting in Jesus' lap, and he would read to me. Now, whether it was maybe my grandfather or a dream I had or something like that, I don't know. But, you know what? I like to keep it that way. I like to... I like the memory of sitting in Jesus' lap and him reading me Bible stories, you know? The thing is, is that as I grew older, I, I mean, when I was younger, I was all in love with Jesus. I got a little bit older, and I would hear people talk about, well, Christ gave me a word. Jesus Christ gave me a word. He spoke to me, you know. And I go home, and I pray. Nothing. Like, nothing. Like, I heard nothing. I heard nothing. Nada. You know what I mean? Like... No one explained to me how the Holy Spirit speaks. <laughs> and I thought something was wrong with me. So, I would just sit there and just pray and pray and pray. And I would cry. And I was just like, Jesus, what am I doing wrong here? You know, why don't you speak to me? Because I was expecting him to speak to me like... Someone right beside me would speak to me. That's not how the Holy Spirit speaks to you. It's not audible outside of your mind. Outside of your heart. And the way that the Holy Spirit speaks to you is in different ways. And it depends on... I, I believe in... I mean, this, this is not biblical or anything. But I go with, you know, what the Holy Spirit tells me. I may have like a dream and have nothing to do with the dream and then while upon awakening I hear something inside my head not where I can hear it it's not coming from the outside it's in and it's a knowing 
and then I'll do whatever it says. It's not a it's not like I ask it, like, why do I need to do this? Or should I do this? It's just like, I know I need to do it. So I do it. I think that's what Jesus meant by my sheep know my voice. You know, when you have a question on whether or not it's from the Holy Spirit, mm, I don't know, you know, but I know that I know because... I immediately obey. You know, I've given my life to Christ, to Jesus. He is the love of my life. Everything in my life, I mean, I've had people leave me. I've been abandoned. I've been rejected. I've been everything you could, you could think of. But I praise God for that. Because if it was not for that, I would not have called. I would not have fell down to my knees to Jesus. I wouldn't have realized my need for him so much. He is my first love, my last love, my always, I will always love him. How could you not? I don't, I went out on this venture trying to figure out how atheist or anybody doesn't believe because from my growing up I I couldn't understand that like how could you not believe in a God you know that was just by raising but I did want to understand I didn't want to convert I wanted to understand you know where are these people coming from you know, people that do not believe in Jesus Christ. Do not believe in God. You know, where do they come from? I mean, like, like what, what's their background? Why do they not believe? You know? And I wasn't trying to find out to say, hey, you know what? You need to believe. I let them speak. And what I found out is that a lot of them, and no one ever let them speak about it. No one ever let them really talk about how they felt. And as Christians, we are to hear. We need to be slow to speak and quick to hear. Some of these people have been, where people have shoved it down their throats. You wouldn't receive it that way. And so why do you expect them to receive it that way? You're no better than they are. The, the pain in some of these people, being my fiance actually is one of them, you would, you would never guess how much he desires Christ. He talks about me being like his mama bird and like, I don't, I don't get it, but you know, he, he says, I, I hear the word. <laughs> and I chew it up, and I guess I, sorry for my language, but I like, you know, what they do with the baby bird, the mama bird, the baby bird, and then he digests it. It's because it's new to him, and he's trying to catch up, but I've told him everybody's journey is their own. The main thing is to have a relationship with Jesus. Just want to know him. Love him. He loves you. But I have some really amazing ways that the Holy Spirit speaks to me. Other than just a knowing. Sometimes I receive music. And then I have like a little lyric of a song. And then I have to look it up figured out what it is. It's a song I've not, not heard in a long time. They're not all Christian songs. A lot of times they're love songs. And I believe it's the Holy Spirit because I get this comfort that kind of just flows over me. And it helps me through the stressful times of my life. 
as Christians, we are to be able to forgive. And it is not easy. It's not easy to forgive. That'll be on part two. Thank you.